now turn into Angela. But I call her Yee. <laughs> Way up. Way up. Yes. Way up with Angela Yee. Shout out to Plies for that Plies. amazing song. Mm-hmm. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Good morning. And New Mano. New Mano. Good Mano's morning. Mano's in the building with yeah. that, a beautiful sweater. Listen, and you Marnie. know, you, when someone complimented Mano on his sweater, <laughs> Mano, what That's was your... off the record. Mano, no, that was not off the record. Mano, yeah, what see, was your... It is. It, see? Yeah. I had to tell... It, <laughs> Hey, man, that's a nice sweater. It's expensive. Yeah, he said, he said thank you, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and that was not off the record, man. It's good when you spend damn. money on something and then people, like, acknowledge it. Yeah, like, yeah that's what nice. we... Yeah, yeah. But he's itching, though. Yeah, it's an itchy sweater. It's but itchy. It looks good. It's yeah. an itchy, expensive itchy cardigan. sweater. Yeah. You know what? I, I get a lot of compliments on this mirror right. that I have in the studio. Yeah. Just can you describe the mirror for the listeners? All right. So, and if you want to see it, you can go on his page. Tree Unique is his Instagram. The mm-hmm. guy who made it. Yes. I like that. Uh, Chad Dorsey. I actually um, saw some of his work on Instagram. It's like made out of a tree. Mm-hmm. And it's really made out of tree. He makes tables and everything. And it's standing up on the floor. How, yeah. how tall do you think that is, Angela? Taller than me. Okay, it's that's kind of easy. Yeah, it's taller yeah. than all of us. But it's a, it's a nice oversized mirror, but it's beautiful. And everyone comes in here and literally, like, the first thing that they say is, I love that mirror. Yeah. It's a nice mirror. I like to use that mirror at home. Okay, Mayno. Mayno. It's too no, early. We just, just, Mayno, we just started the show. For my outfits. Yeah, I can see. Okay. I can see Mayno at home in front of the mirror with his expensive sweater on and nothing else. <laughs> body, body rolling. <laughs> But it's Ramadan. <laughs> and Mano is Mano I'm is fasting. Mano now, what is are the rules with sex in Ramadan. Whoa. Let me see. Sex. No, yeah, there's Ramadan. no sex. D- okay, At first all, of all, or is it when the sun First goes of all, down? you're supposed to be married and when you have sex. Well, I'm I'm not I'm Secondly, not Muslim. Though. Okay, it's until the onset of dawn, so you still Secondly, can. you know, the sun cannot be up when you have intercourse who during can? Ramadan. Says who? I'm not Muslim. I'm observing Ramadan. Like I'm, so I'm fasting for my own purposes. But what are you I'm fasting following. from? I'm uh, I'm not eating. Okay, but I'm you not are drinking. You're drinking water. No, I'm not. I haven't had a drink of water. Okay, so you're not eating. Or, oh, that's 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 right. intense. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Well, let's make sure we don't eat in front of him. No, All right. but you already had cookies laid out. Well, yes, that was off the record. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when Mano came in, um, I didn't know he was doing Ramadan, so I had some snacks for Mano. Yeah, you and, did. And he was yeah, like, was "What crazy. is this?" Damn. All right, well, listen, we got to get the show started, and we always start with shining a light on them. 800-292-5150 is a number. If you want to call in and shine a light on somebody doing something positive, somebody who's made an impact in your life, whether it's in the news or in real life, we have somebody we want to shine a light on, and then you guys call us up. 800-292-5150 is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm going to shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Turn the light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Is it hump day? Well, yes, hump yes. day. Happy hump, hump day. And hump Mano day. is here. New Mano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, new Mano. New that was, was kind of low energy, it Mano. It was, yeah. Bring, bring, bring it up a little bit. New Mano. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And this is the part where we shine a light on somebody doing something positive, which just makes us feel good and warm and fuzzy. Yes. And let's shine a light on Miss Anita. Yeah. Now, if y'all don't know who Miss Anita is, she was the receptionist here at iHeart for like I don't even know how long but Forever. she did retire mm-hmm. but she's not just like you know just the receptionist which is an important job but she was like the light yes. in the whole entire building and she just came up here today to say hi to everybody so it's nice to see her but if you guys remember there was a moment that went viral with her and Will Smith <laughs> yes really? Will Smith yeah yeah posted her Wow. Yeah, that's how much people love her. Like, people come here and they're like, where's Miss Anita? I like how you described her as the light. Mm -hmm. I love that. We're shining the light on the light. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see who you guys want to shine a light on. Angie, who do you want to shine a light on? I want to shine a light on my oldest son, Reggie. 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 It's Reginald, but it's Reggie. We call him Reggie. He is the best son in Mm -hmm. the world. Anytime his mother is having any financial problems, he comes through. I love that. I mean, yes, yes. He just helped me with getting his youngest brother some braces. And we all know how much braces cost. Right. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, he is the best son that I could ever have. You raised him well. Yes. Thank you. Bye, myself. You know what an ideal situation that is, your kids? Because your kids always want to be in a position to take care of you yeah. and help you because you do so much for them. Yeah. And, and she, it's like she said, by yeah. herself. By myself. It's like, it's like right now, just thinking about it, I just 
want to cry because he's the best son. Oh, oh so Reggie, sweet. Reginald, that is so sweet. So sweet. Well, listen, you deserve it, and you did an amazing job raising him to get to that point to be able to do that for you, and I know he loves that he could do that for you. Clearly. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Reggie. Love you. Thank Aww. you. We love you. Natasha, who do you want to shine a light on? Hi. Good morning, Angela. Love your show. Thank you. Um, well, first, I want to shine a light on my dad. He's turning 75 this Friday, and Ooh. all the other April babies, okay. including me and my sister and my nephews. Love you. Lauren and Randolph, TT, love you. But quickly, especially for my sister, because she is retiring 20 years in the service in the Navy, not even going to go down her resume, but she's done so much for like her family, the country. And I'm just so proud. And I love you, Lori Chastain. So congratulations. Yay. Happy birthday next week. You're still going to hear from me. <laughs> and I'm just excited for her. That's dope. Well, shout out to all the April babies. I know that's an expensive month for y'all. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Take care of everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your energy. Shine a light on them. Thank you. All right. That was Shine a Light on them. I love that. 800 292 5150 is a number. And we have Yee-T when we come back. Let's talk about a good deed that people are mad about. And we'll tell you why. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Out, out. Angela's spilling that Yee-T. Talk to him. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Uh, Mano. I'm back. Is here. And Jasmine, we've been wanting to get you this drop for quite some time. I'm not just any brand. I'm a Oh, <laughs> you lit. You All right, lit. one more time. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Not just any brand. Oh, oh man. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. That laugh is crazy, by the way. I know. Thank you. <laughs> is that real? No. Okay. <laughs> Fake laugh. Thanks for my thanks for my drop. If y'all didn't know the Jasmine raps. Um <laughs> All right, so let's get into this Yee Tea. Raekwon, he was planning to bring his Hastoria business, a cannabis lounge, to Newark, New Jersey. And by the way, we talked about it when it was happening. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately for him, Newark Central Planning Board denied his application. And he already has three different locations of this, not in New Jersey, in okay. Oregon. But he wanted to bring this to New Jersey. And unfortunately for him, they had the board meeting. And um, Reverend Doris Glassby said, I pray that you will put this somewhere else, not in the heart of Newark. We're not against people smoking marijuana if they want to, but they can put it somewhere else. Okay. Can he appeal that, yes, though? Yes, he's going to have to go to court um, to, to figure this out. And they feel like it will get overturned because it was already approved right. by Landmarks, uh, the Landmark and Historic Preservation Commission. So now it was just a longer process. Hmm. Okay. But who knows? And I also feel like when you look at people who use marijuana for medicinal purposes and all of that, it's not like... They act like it's going to be a bunch of like druggies walking around the neighborhood. Right. It's, like, like yeah. it's pretty cool. Like yeah. It's not an issue. It's like having a little lounge. Yeah. This is a new concept for a lot of people, though. Especially older people. Yeah, they're not familiar they with it. They got older people that use it. Yeah, uh, they do use they do. it. Yeah. But they, they, be, like, they, be, use a... they be smoking, though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, YouTuber Mr. Beast. And by the way, we just had some of his chocolate chip cookies. Minus Mano, he didn't have one. Yeah, I'm on Ramadan. Okay. But um, he actually went viral yet again. Now, he does these good deeds, but some people have an issue with it. We'll tell you about this one. He was in a restaurant, and he was tipping a waitress. Here's what happened. What's the biggest tip you've ever gotten? Like 50. 50 dollars? Yeah. Has anyone ever tipped a car? Oh my, you're... Have you seen our TikTok before? It's Mr. Beast. Does that ring a bell? This is not, this is a car key. This is not a car. Do you want to see it? It's outside. Let's go. (laughs) Right over here, you'll see your brand new car. Are you serious? Yes. This isn't real. No, it is (laughs) real. Just hit the unlock button. See if it makes noise. I was literally late to work today because the Uber was so (laughs) unreal. I'm like panicking. I can't (laughs) hear it. All right, now, this was great. Yes. But some people were mad at him for this. You why? know why? Because it was like a um, on the side of the car, it was like a promo, you know, for him. And so, for some reason, his uh, his chocolate brand, Feastables, it was on the side. Hmm. And so, people were like, oh, this is a... Uh, but so what? Right, Two so things what? can be true. I'm promoting my brand, but I also right. just did something nice. And yeah. you made somebody's dreams come true. You made somebody's day. You probably made her... 
the rest of her year because if she didn't have a car now she got some way to get to work and she was just saying she was literally in an uber that was slow so i'm sure she's super thankful for this yeah Somebody said, I'm going to be honest. It's nice she got a car, but I am not driving a car around that has feastables on the side. Well, you don't have to. Wrap it. Yeah, yeah, well, you that's don't have you to. Get to. Yeah. And look, she was excited. Like, mm-hmm. as you can see. And that's I all that matters. People would be mad yeah, about so stuff. They don't, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, it's always going to be somebody that's mad at it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, now, Glorilla has gotten a major deal with Tommy Hilfiger. So okay. she posted on social media. I'm a big Aaliyah fan, and I love what she did with them. I'm part of keeping a legacy going. I feel highly favored because it could have been anyone else but me. I got to make sure I keep it going. Memphis is getting the notoriety it deserves. It's refreshing to me because I love the old school and being able to bring it to my generation. Y'all remember how iconic that was? Yes. Aaliyah and Tommy yes. Hilfiger. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so congratulations to her. That's um, really, really dope. I love how Glorilla's always shouting out Memphis. And I love that she's so thick. Thick. <laughs> yeah. If she thinks, right. then I'm thick. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, she thick. always says she's thick. I know. Right. She she thick is a mind state. <laughs> you can, you Thank can, you, Mayno. Yeah, thick is a mind state. You can... um. You know, you can feel thick. All yeah, right. you have a thick personality. Yeah. <laughs> she's <laughs> thick. She, she knows she's thick. All right, and Magic Johnson has officially submitted his $6 billion bid to buy the Commanders. That's right, the Washington Commanders. So mm-hmm. uh, he's part of a group that submitted that offer, and that's official now that he's at least submitted the offer. So he's doing this alongside 76ers owner Josh Harris and billionaire Mitchell Reels. Okay. So a lot of people were talking about it, like Jeff Bezos, Jay-Z, Byron Allen, and... Everybody, you know, they were making their bids, but it looks like this might be the most serious one. All right. And that is your Yeetie. When we come back, we have about last night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. I know, Mayna, when the sun went down, you was going ham. <laughs> way up at Angela Yee. <laughs> so about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. Yes, it is way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand. You supposed to have her drop ready when we say that. Oh, wow. And Mayno is here. New Mayno. <laughs> New Mayno. We're going to get this right, though. But, um, yes, yeah, so it is about last night. So last night, I'm going to tell you what I did, Mayno, because I know you're a foodie also. Mm. Have yeah. you ever had vegan food? Yes, I have. Do you like vegan food? Um, Not not necessarily. See, that's a misconception. It's, yeah, it's, it's a quiet taste, I think. You got to get used to it. But there's so many different options, right? It, all, it, um, it is, but I, I tried vegan Chinese food and I didn't really that's very specific vegan Chinese food yeah yeah cause you could have like zucchini noodles that's cool have, yeah. Um, yeah anyway uh, so I did this whole vegan cooking show yesterday black mm-hmm. vegan mm-hmm. and um, the only thing is this for some reason she thought shout out to Charlize she thought that I eat fish what you now, do I don't eat seafood not. I have not had fish ever in my life Ever? Never. You've Ever. never had no kind of fish. The only thing I've had, I will say one thing I had, tuna fish in a can. Does that count? <laughs> That's when I was, yeah, that when counts. I was very young, yeah. though. So, well, why you never had fish? Because my mom doesn't eat seafood. So you never had whiting. You never nope. had nope. Uh, salmon. You never nope. had bronzino. I never had crab legs, lobster, shrimp. Never, that is... Nothing. Okay, now... What? People find that very odd. As that you is see. very, very <laughs> odd. I never knew that. I also, uh, so there's a, I realize that I'm a picky eater and there's a lot of things I've never had. Now, is there a food that everyone's tried that you have never had that's popular? I've never had coffee. That's it's not vi- food. Okay. That's very popular. Never, yeah, I've that's never very had popular. coffee. Never and, tasted coffee. And you're going coffee. to, by the way. You're coming I will. to coffee. I will. I will. Never tasted coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. But you've had it. Ever. It's, it's been so long, I don't even remember what it tastes like. Yeah, but I'm saying like something you've never tried. Like Jasmine? I've never had pastrami. Me neither. I've never had pastrami. I've never had pastrami. You know what else? I, I've, there's a lot of things I've never had. I've also never had um, meatloaf. I've had meatloaf. You've never had meatloaf? Nope. Never had meatloaf. Never had oxtails. Have you had... Sp- I've never had oxtails neither. Okay. See, look, look at us. No, I haven't had that either. I've had the... Um, I've never had but oxtails. I feel like I have because I had the sauce. I'm from New York. I've never had chopped cheese. <laughs> You don't kill me after this. Uh, I never had that. Never had chopped cheese. Mano. I'm from Brooklyn. I <laughs> never this, had chopped cheese. So it was sad because she was gonna make me this vegan fish. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And and it looked like it would be amazing. I tasted but it. 
how was it? It tastes like catfish. Yeah, and I don't eat seafood. But, and but, so she, she had to but change she, the whole menu but, up. But let me just say this. You can't say you don't eat something unless you try it. Like, you never... You're not allergic to it. First of all, that's what she said. No, um, <laughs> but if you never try it, you just like why would I force myself to like something? I don't. You like the might way, love it. I don't like the way it smells. And wow. then if I don't like the way something looks or the texture, I'm not gonna try it. Some people are very experimental with food. I'm not. Have you okay. ever had frog legs? No. No, I have. I, I had alligator before. How was that? Tastes it's like chicken. Good. Papa dough. That's what they say about everything. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Like chicken. Right. Tastes like rabbit. Well, we wanted like to chicken. ask you guys the same question. Are there some foods? And the reason why I thought about this was, obviously, that happened yesterday. It happens to me all the time. But when we come back, we'll talk about... Oh, we're not doing this here. Okay. Oh, okay. Wednesday. Okay, it's Wednesday, so... All right, well, anyway, um, I was thinking about this because Tessa Thompson was on the red carpet. And we'll talk about that more a little bit later. But... When we come back, we do have Tell Us a Secret. Ooh. 800-292-5150. Mano, I know you love Tell Us a Secret. We would never skip it, all right? Yeah, I mean, we're you not judging, it. right? We are not judging, Mano. I am. All right? 800-292-5150. Call us up and tell us a secret. It's way up with Angela Yee. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. I'm and not just any brand. <laughs> hey, and Mano said, don't worry, Mano, I got something for you, too. You got, you got me? New Mano. New Mano. New Mano, yeah. I got something for you, too. <laughs> now, you know this is Tell Us a Secret. This is where people call us up, 800-292-5150. You are anonymous, so you do not say your name. We don't even ask you what your name is. Right, right. And you can share anything with us. And y'all have told us a lot of different things. Yes, it's been okay. a, a very diverse. There's a lot of secrets out there. A lot of secrets. Uh, somebody called us. We should post this one. He has uh, two kids in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> one in a right. possible. One in a possible. Right. Two kids. He's not sure, but yeah. he's fine yeah, taking but he care went, of them. He went raw on, on the work out there in, in, uh, yeah. in DR. But he doesn't mind because he just sends like $50 or something. <laughs> and he said, it's okay. He's like, I don't care. You know? <laughs> But, yeah, and so that was one secret that somebody shared. There's been some good ones up here. Yeah, well, there was one about the guy that stole his cousin's money up from under her mattress. Oh, Mano was Man. nah, Mano did judge on that. I'm way. still I'm still bothered by that. Yeah, Mano's blood it was like pressure. Forty two thousand dollars. Forty two thousand. Get that lady back on money. His, her, blood, his, his cousin. His blood pressure yeah. goes up every time we bring it up. He thought Mano was gonna be with it too. Like, yeah, right. man, you did that. Right. Mano was like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> and your only reason to doing it because you felt like she wasn't gonna do nothing with the money. <laughs> this what? is so crazy. So you took but, it. No judgment, Mano. 800 292 5150 is a number. Call us up and tell us a secret. Hello, anonymous caller. Tell us your secret. I had a baby with another woman, and I'm in a relationship with my girlfriend of three years. Ooh, so, so you, you, you went in another female. Well, no judgment, well, Mano. We were on break. We were on break. Oh. Uh, okay, you had a, a little break, baby. Yeah, but she doesn't know. I haven't told her. Anymore. Are you going to tell her? Uh, maybe. How old, how old is the break baby? The baby is a month old. Oh, did did okay. you do a paternity test? Uh, no, I didn't. Are you going to? Yeah. Okay. Do you do you have a kid with your girlfriend? No, I don't. Oh, that's mm. tough. Um, well, yeah, we can't yeah, say no anything. Judgment. There's right. no judgment. But I will say, get that test. Okay. Good okay. luck. All right, thank you. All right. Ooh, that's a tough Sheesh. secret. Yeah. All right, Anonymous Carla, tell us a secret. So my secret is, it's probably childish now, but when I was younger, I used to date a guy that was like seven years older than me. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't supposed to have guys in the house. My parents went out of town and I invited him over and that was the same night I lost my virginity. Oh, wow. wow. Well, your parents went out of town. I'm sure they knew you was doing something. Well, it was the first time that they ever went out of town and left me at home by myself Ooh, and was like, did, like you enough. <laughs> did you did you do it in your parents' bed? Oh no, God, no. Oh. <laughs> That's it, too much. Now not, we went too far. Then it's not that bad. Well, I guess no. But it was just the fact of I've never gone against my parents of anything. So for mm. me to do that, it was kinda like Ooh, and they probably trusted you. They gave the speech like, "Listen, we're trusting yeah. you in the house. No company." You should tell them now. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Well, they, remember and tell them. They definitely know now because they they met him, and so like we're still together now. Oh, oh. 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 No. okay. Look, well, then that's fine. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Is that the only person but, you've ever been with? Um, no. So I dated two other guys. We broke up for a little time, and okay. then um. I end up having a kid outside of our relationship, but he's a great dad. Earl. Step Zaddy. Let's so you married your first. That's, yeah, that's well, nice. or you got together with your first. That's nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, so we've been together ever since. So my daughter loves him, and they have a crazy bond together, which I think is amazing. So. Oh, I love that. How old will your daughter be when you leave her alone in the house? <laughs> oh, gosh. You'll probably be way grown in her own house before I let her see my <laughs> That's funny. All right, thank you for calling. Thank you. Hello, Anonymous Carla. Tell us a secret. Hi, Angela. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> So, I've been married for, like, 10 years, but I secretly like to masturbate to lesbians, specifically in the oh, position. Oh, I love oh, that poem. Okay. okay, you and Mano have the same secret. Yeah, we yeah. have the same secret. I love lesbian porn. <laughs> that is the greatest. How did you How did you discover that? Women know how they want to be and women know how to other women because they know how they like to be yeah. And, you know, some people like to watch porn of things that they wouldn't do or have never done. Right, and I've never done it. I've never done it. Not saying that I wouldn't, but I just haven't. Wait, now, hold on. Back up. So you would do it? I would. You should try it. <laughs> but I'm happily married. Uh-oh. Well, int- introduce something new to the Would you ask marriage. him? Would you ask him? Like, let's do this? I would. All right. Well, can you check back in and let us know how it goes? I can. Okay. I feel like he'll be fine with that. He probably will. Yeah, he'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. All right, well, that was Tell Us a Secret, 800-292-5150. And we love y'all for trusting us and sharing with us, even when Mano's here judging you. I'm not judging, but I'm just <laughs> maybe a little bit judging. Uh, and when we come back, we have Yee T. We'll talk about Eva Marcel. She has filed for divorce from her husband, Michael Sterling. And Jasmine Brand has the exclusive statement on Way Up with Angela Yee. <laughs> Turn it all the way up. Angela Yee is way up. Yep, with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano's here. New Mano. Yes, I am. And Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Good morning. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. <laughs> okay, and it's time for the Yee T. Oh. Man. Now, Mano, I love this because you were here for this interview, too, and so were you, Jasmine. Yes. Life after lockup. What's yep. going on with that? Yep. Yep. Derek was arrested again. You know, Derek and Monique were up right. here on Way Up with Angela Yee, mm-hmm. and they were detailing all kinds of how in love they were. Mano believes it. Yeah, I do. That's mm-hmm. real love right there. Yes, and so apparently he has been arrested for fighting. But by the way, Monique's sister is saying, y'all know Derek ain't go to jail for fighting Monique. He walked in and walked right back out, smiling on his mugshot. So stop asking me if he got locked up for locked up for fighting her. And here's what he had to say up here about whether or not they've ever gotten physical. Now, Derek, I saw your sister was on live and she was trying to say that you guys had, you know, were abusive toward each other physically. Right, so what is the situation with that? We ain't putting our hands on each other. We ain't, we we have our arguments, but we ain't it ain't coming to physical blows, nothing like that. All right, so you heard it from Derek, okay, himself, and Monique was here too, and uh, he was arrested and taken to jail for felonious assault, but he was soon released after submitting a ten thousand dollar bond less than an hour after he was arrested. And people are making a lot of comments about his mugshot where he's smiling. Yeah, he's happy to be there. No, he's not happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was just doing that sarcastically. Because he knew it was going to go everywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. And, he knew, and he knew he was going to get right out. Okay. And that's the one thing about a mugshot. When, now, if you think about it, right, you know, in certain situations, you know everyone's going to see it. Yeah, right. so you might as well look good. Are you going to smile? Are you going to be serious? Mano, how are you on your mugshots? I don't I don't have mugshots. Okay. Those those days are... Uh, are long gone. Long gone. Got it. But like, just say say you got into like a brawl or something and you know you're going to get arrested and you know everyone's going to see it. Right. What would you do in the mugshot? You might as well smile. Might as well. <laughs> Angela, would you smile in your mugshot? Um, I probably smize. <laughs> smize. Smile with your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eva Marcel from Real Housewives of Atlanta, and of course, actress. Um, she has filed for divorce from her husband Michael Sterling. Uh, they've been married for more than four years. And Jasmine, you did get an exclusive, right? You got a statement. Yeah, we got an exclusive statement from Mike, and he says. I'm not going to lose my wife. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber in my being. I love her and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side. Fight, fight, fight. You can see this exclusive on the Jasmine brand. Yeah, he was like, I hit him up to see. (laughs) But that's good. So he's going to fight for her. So it's not a mutual thing. She filed for divorce. Clearly, he still wants to be together. We don't know what happened. Right. And they have two children together. Yes. They have a four year old and a three year old. And then they have Marley. Well, they share Marley, and Marley is with Kevin McCall. Now, she is requesting legal and, f- and primary physical custody of their two sons, by the way. Okay. All right. Now, Tom Hanks 
He recently did um he did an interview where he was talking about an incredibly important movie from his career that he feels like nobody is ever refer- referencing. When we ask you what's your favorite Tom Hanks movie, what would you say, Mayna? Um Forrest Gump, Cast Away, um Saving Private Ryan. I always forget Splash because that's listed here too. I don't yeah, think that's I've not seen one. That. Of, that's you not never one saw of, Splash. I saw mm-hmm. it, but that's not like one of the favorites. Okay, okay. Um, this is another one. What about you, Jasmine? Uh, uh, Sully. Oh, um, I'm I'm the captain. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Saving Private. Cap- Phillips, Captain Phillips. But, but I'm no, the captain. Sully. Miracle on the Hudson. I don't oh, know if I saw yeah, that. Yeah, that's not a favorite one, though. Yeah, you just made that up. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, I didn't. I, actually, I did a deep dive. That's your that, favorite That's movie? not your favorite, Jasmine. Hi, listen, Angela and Mano, how y'all going to tell that me is not what your favorite. my favorite Why did you have to Google favorite. it? Because that, I couldn't think of any. That's, well, a, that's t- not your favorite. I don't like I'm being attacked about my favorite no, Tom No, you're telling me that's better than life is like a box of chocolate. Angela and Mano. Stop it. Remember when he was running a marathon? Exactly. Nothing better than that. Oh. Turner and Hooch. Do y'all remember that? Oh, Come on, man. Jasmine. All right, well, let's move on. Now, Tom Hanks is talking about a movie that he feels is incredibly important, and none of y'all said this movie. Here's what he had to say. For one reason or another, no one references Road to Perdition. Us? And that was an incredibly important movie for <laughs> it's me. a masterpiece. To, for yeah. me to go through. See? Nobody oh, in here said it. You've got mail. Jasmine, that is not yeah. your favorite. Stop it. You just on IMDb. But I said that earlier. You Road said to that, per- I- Perdition. You, no, you said paradition. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. But you know what I meant, though, right? <laughs> it wasn't Sully, though. All right, and let's talk about the Essence Festival. Y'all know I be at Essence Fest every year. Mm-hmm, killing it. Yeah, last year I actually hosted the live stream for Hulu. It's the first time they ever live streamed it. Angela, you did a really good job. I even texted you afterwards. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my it. God, this you killed it, It's a stressful friend. time. The first night was a little shaky because it was the first time, but after that, it smoothed out. Everybody ironed out all the glitches right so that was great um but this year they have announced the headliners it's june 29th to july 3rd and miss lauren hill Ooh. and megan the stallion are Ooh. headlining this year's festivities okay. yes um also whiz kid monica coco jones kids daniel there'll also be a special performance curation by dougie fresh they did that with the roots last year okay um and that's gonna feature also dj spinderella dj kid capri and dj clark kent during the festival Activities. There'll also be a performance from Jermaine Dupree and Friends, and that's for the 30th anniversary of So So Death. That's going to be nice. Nice. Yeah. That would be. Yeah. yeah um, Mayno, are you going to go to Essence? You would I would like it. to go. You okay. would love it, right. Mayno. I should go. When I tell you, you will have a time mm-hmm. out there. I will, yeah. We should do the show, show live from there. The last night, I went to a club with Ghostface and Raekwon. Ooh, nice. Ghostface. And Nas was performing. Remember that? We had a good time. And the City Girls. Shout out to Larry Murrow. All right. All right. Well, that is your Yeetie. And when we come back, it's Under the Radar. Those are stories that are not necessarily headline news. They're flying under the radar, but we want to let you know. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Yeah, news. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. Yes, it is way up with Angela Yee. I am Angela Yee. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Mano is here. I'm still here, baby. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mano is an excellent, by the way, um, he's an excellent co-host. He, he, he gets here early. He comes yeah. early. Great attitude. Yeah, prepared. Come, that's right. Come to work. And he has some great stories that we can never talk about on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we can always, and he's lived Please. a life, okay? I have no I have no words to even describe. That. And by the way, he comes yeah. in here while I have on my sweats. He comes in here dressed to the nines. He's I mean, always dressed gotta, very well. He has shades on I've today. I've never seen him wear the same thing twice. No, you got to you got to be camera ready. Okay, <laughs> got to be camera ready. Well, yeah. let's do these under the radar stories. So Apple has launched its Pay Later service. They launched this yesterday, so users can now split their purchases into four payments spread over the course of six weeks. Hmm. So you can manage, track, and repay your loans in your Apple Wallet, according to a company release that was put out yesterday. And you can apply for Apple Pay Later loans between $50 and $1,000 and use them for in-app and online purchases made through merchants that accept Apple Pay. So it's like layaway. Is there in- there's no interest on this? Of course it is. What's the, okay, what's the... In- I don't see it, on the, I see it in the story. I don't see the interest. I just want to know the it's interest It's in the fine print. <laughs> okay. Did you just make that up? I'm telling you. He did. He made it up. I'm but I don't, sure. I don't see the I'm, interest on here. So Yeah, I don't see anything about Nobody's interest. Nobody's giving but listen, you nothing but for nothing. A, I feel like there's other um, apps that do that for you. Where you And like when you go shopping online, you can split your payments up. I like that. Yeah. Does Layaway typically have no interest? No. 
of layaway have layaway plans have this interest? Is the thing. Yeah. Okay. No, but usually on layaway you can't get your product until you finish paying for That's it. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it might. It's just like a payment. It, it is a payment plan. I like so if it. it was if if it was a hundred dollars, it was probably a hundred and twenty by the time you. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's you buy it now and then you pay later. Okay. So, but you know what? Probably um, is it is no interest and no fees. Oh, that's a. I like that. No I'm signing interest up. and no fees. <laughs> you don't need no. I'm signing you, up. You don't need no Apple pay, uh, payment plan. Yeah, you never know. L- look at that sweater yeah. you got on. Them, them Louis Vuitton <laughs> sneakers you got on. <laughs> them Marty sweater. Them shades. I split that up in the four. That's uh-huh. still a lot. That jacket. Yeah, I, got this on, I got this on layaway. <laughs> that belt. You yeah. know what though? I'm gonna tell you where the problem might come in. Okay. If you miss a payment. It's like those blue checks. If you miss your your payment on your blue check on Instagram and get it repo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the problem might come in. If you miss, I would think, um, one of those, then that's going to be an issue. Okay. All right, now, Adidas. They had initially um, filed a a request Mm -hmm. for the Black Lives Matter movement to stop using the three stripes. I guess they are the only ones that use the three stripes. Okay. Now, I was like, let me go look at this Black Lives Matter logo (laughs) and see if this looks like it could be mistaken for Adidas. Can you describe, uh, Angela, to the listeners? So, hopefully y'all all all know what the Adidas, you know, Mm -hmm. three stripes looks like. But Black Lives Matter just says Black Lives Matter and then there's three long Gray lines under it. Yeah, Yeah, under it. So, I don't see how that would have been an issue, but now they're backtracking right. on that opposition, right? Because at first they said it would create confusion. Now they have withdrawn that request to U.S. authorities to block the Black Lives Matter movement from wow. trademarking a design with the three parallel stripes. That was ridiculous anyway. There's nothing alike. Yeah, they didn't offer an explanation for why they withdrew it, but I'm sure they got a lot of backlash. Okay. Like, look, Adidas, y'all having some issues already. Yeah. Just calm down, everybody. All right. Um, so that is uh, your stories that are under the radar. And it is Wealth Wednesday, not just Hump Day. I know you love screaming out Hump Day, Jasmine. I do. But it's also Wealth Wednesday. Okay. All right. Let's not forget that. And so my girl, Stacey Tisdale, you know she's my partner. I've been doing Wealth Wednesday for like six years. Oh, nice. And so now I have it for you guys on the air. And we have a great segment for you guys today. And this is some Credit Counseling 101. Uh, you know, this month we're all focused on credit. It's National Credit Education Month. Mm-hmm. And And so today we have the vice president for the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. That's the NFCC. Okay. Right. This is all something that you guys can get all kinds of free resources and information. Barry Coleman is going to be joining us. And we have got questions from you guys that you want answers to when it comes to credit. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yeah. And so these are questions that people ask that Barry Coleman is actually kind enough to sit and answer for you. Again, he's the vice president of the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. And we also have the Way Up Mix at the top of the hour. And yeah, it's both Wednesday. Okay. Way up with Angela Yee. Oh, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that Yee tea. Come and get the tea. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Mm-hmm. New Mano. New Mano, I'm here, baby. Mano's in the building. Oh, play that one more time. Jasmine. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. That's really Jasmine rapping, and every time we play that job, she bops. I, do. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely bop. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> All right, we got to post that actual video. Mm-hmm. All right, so Brittany Taylor, you know her from Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. She has been arrested and charged with assault after allegedly hitting her children's father with a baseball bat. All right, according to sources, she got into a physical altercation with him earlier this month. They have a two-year-old and an eight-month-old together. She did turn herself in last week after a warrant had been issued for her arrest, but now she she is giving an explanation on what's been going on in her relationship that people may not have known behind the scenes. I'm going to win this case and come in here, girl, did you beat that man? Yes, I retaliated from him beating me and knocking my 82-year-old grandmother to the floor. I picked up a toy and I hit him upside of his mother <laughs> head because he has abused me to the core. Enough is enough. I take that. I turn myself in. I take my charges. But him playing the victim is insane. Wow, that is so sad to hear. They do have two children together. Yeah. She's been charged with two counts of assault, one count of endangering the welfare of a child, and one count of criminal possession of a weapon. And by the way, uh, she posted pictures of herself 
with um, uh, one of them. She said, SMH, my abuser's handprint bruised in my face. Mm-hmm. And, she, you know, she said, speaking of DV, this Nigerian man has been beating on me for years. He feels like women should obey their man. And if they talk back, they deserve to be hit. Look, He's I, abusing I like me that. mentally and physically. He's beat me in front of my child wow. more than twice. Here is a video from one time I caught him on camera in the background admitting to giving me a black eye. Ooh. He is now trying to play victim and grab a little clout along the way. It's very sad. He's going the extra mile to try damaging me as if he hasn't damaged me enough. He's a deadbeat. Sadly, because my daughter loves the hell out of him, I just want to be left alone. Well, I just, I mean, that's, this is not funny, right? Mm-mm. But I just have one question. Like, a toy? Yeah, what kind of toy yeah, was I it? Knew, it? I it said it was that. a bat. It was a toy bat? Yeah, it must have been. Toy bat? But, you know, just but if it was a toy bat, then... But, yeah, yeah. Not you pushing my granny, yeah. allegedly. Yeah, but you can't you can't and, get a salt so, charge with toy bat, right? And I will say this: a lot of times, you know, for women, like we never want to call the cops, or things keep on happening, and, right? And then now t- tables have turned on her. But sometimes it is really important if you are being abused, and the pictures that she posted looks really bad. And you know, this is all alleged right now, so right. I don't want to legally say anything. But mm-hmm. if something is really that bad. And if somebody's putting their hands on you, you don't have to feel obligated to protect the person. Take the charge. At all. You don't have to feel obligated to protect somebody who doesn't feel obligated to protect you. Yep. I mean, if she could have beat him with a Barbie dollhouse, maybe. May know. May yeah. know. Uh, all right. Now, Curb Your Enthusiasm might end with a season 12. And this is looking like it is going to end because people who work on the show even were posting about it. Now, one person who is a producer, mm-hmm. John Heyman, said, maybe you love the show. Maybe you hate the show. Maybe you don't give a ish. In any event, shooting the last scene of the last episode of the final season. Aww. All right. Wow, and then that's my show. Director and executive producer also hinted at the show's end yesterday. First day, March 1998. Last day, March 27th, 2023. These 25 25- years have flown by thank you larry david but then wow. they deleted them angela do you have a favorite episode oh yeah crazy eyes killer <laughs> oh yeah curb your enthusiasm crazy, crazy killer. eyes killer yeah. was my favorite episode. he was a rapper right yes he was yeah, a rapper. yeah he was I dating wanda sykes <laughs> yeah when i tell you that's probably if you've never watched curb your enthusiasm that's a that's my watch show that, but that show is hilarious yeah. i watch it on the plane yes. a lot Yes, and there are certain things I feel like they did on that show that I don't know if they could get away with. To this, yeah. it's very yeah. edgy. <laughs> yes, it is. For sure. It's kind of like The Office. Like those two shows, I really enjoy. But I love the way it's shot, though, because Larry mm-hmm. David is actually playing himself. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. he's just he's just so argumentative. Like, and he just does things, and you're like, yes. do you not have a switch that tells <laughs> right. you? And JB Smooth when they JB added him Smooth. to the show. <laughs> That's my man. I mean, next level. Yeah. So shout out to Curb Your Enthusiasm. I do love that show. All right, now 42 Doug has given an update from behind bars. He's um, behind bars after ple- pleading guilty to prison evasion, and he's released a statement. A lot of these N words got to get out of jail free. Got get out of jail free cards, I guess, because I'm turnt. I got to go through the worst: death before dishonor, freedom, boys. Free him. All right. So, you know, he had agreed to uh, attend a 30-day inpatient drug treatment program after his release, followed by a 30-day outpatient program. Okay. But now. Um, it looks like, yeah, he's been hit with up to five years behind Man, bars. give him another chance. Let him get back out here, man. Get to his issue. Okay. All right. Free him. <laughs> All right. That is your uh, Yee Tea. Thank you, Mano. Thank you, Jasmine from the Jasmine Brain. Mm-hmm. And it is Women's History Month. We only got a couple of days left of this, but we're going to keep this going. Yes. And when we come back, we'll be talking about some iconic women who have done things that impact all of our lives. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Ladies. Go, we run this mother. Celebrating Women's History Month on Way Up with Angela Yee. Follow Pat McGrath on social media. And by the way, she's a black woman. Mm -hmm. Billionaire from Mm. makeup, from cosmetics. All right. If you follow her, you'll see all different kinds of makeup applications that you can do. And when I tell you colors are so vibrant, her makeup is my go-to. All right. There's certain brands I use. I love that. I love the lip bar. What's your favorite um, product from her? It's her eyeshadows. Okay. And her lip glosses. I love her lip glosses, too. Now, I use them. I have them with me now. Apparently, it's a big deal. She is the first makeup artist to be made a Dame Commander of the British Empire. We just Empire. said that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody wasn't Jasmine, paying attention. You get an F today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but here, you said that? Yes. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry, here, Angela. But you're right. It is a big... It's, it's such a big deal. We said it twice. <laughs> All right. Now, here, here is Pat McGrath on Vogue. From about six, I was experimenting with makeup. I'd make mix oil and water, put it in the fridge, and hope to make my own face creams or stealing my mother's makeup from her dressing table. And 
getting into a lot of trouble. I'd left Northampton, you know, went to London and hung out at lots of clubs. I remember walking somewhere and I had lots of makeup on. I had loads of blush on my eyes, my cheeks, and really strong mouth. And someone said to me, oh, could you do my makeup like that? I said to her, is that a job? She said, yes, it's a job. I really, in a way, really, I fell into it. I never heard her voice before. Yeah, she's but she's also Jamaican. Oh, nice. Just yeah. that I point that out, though. So shout out to Pat McGrath and make sure y'all all just take a look at her page and be inspired. All right. Also, mm-hmm. we also want to honor uh, Delmar Johnson and Shayna Atkins, two African American women. They're the founders of Expand HR. It's the first ever Black woman owned, user friendly human resources platform. So together, they have put together their professional experiences as business owners, and they are changing how entrepreneurs hire their next employees, but also staying compliant in their businesses. All right. So I think that's amazing. It's an app. Entrepreneurs can expedite the onboarding process for the new employees and contractors. Also, it gives opportunities for human resources consulting as well as a budget-friendly payroll management system. Hmm. And that's important if you own a small business, you know, taking care of payroll, yeah. onboarding employees. Those things can be really overwhelming, especially with the turnover rate yep. that we've been having since the pandemic. That's a fact. Expand HR. <laughs> and I was like, I've been having some issues. That is a fact. a fact. Yeah. You know no, that. it's definitely true. And so I just want to shout out to Delmar Johnson and Shane Atkins. They said a lot of small businesses feel overwhelmed, don't know where to start, feel stuck on how to hire new people or are not clear on what the next move is in the phase or stage of your business, Expand HR allows businesses to become structured to take their business to the next level. And there's so many things that you have to worry about as a business owner, yep. anything that can help you. And I realize that with a lot of these tech companies, when it comes to like they're doing right now with payroll, with onboarding, there's places that help you with scheduling. So make sure that everybody uh, you know, gets everything the way that they're supposed to. Those things are so important in helping to make your life a little easier. Uh, um, Payroll's a little bit of a headache. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie either. (laughs) Okay. All right. So that is uh, for Women's History Month. Anybody you want to honor, Mano, real quick? And just throw anything Um, out there? I want to honor Jasmine. Okay. You know, I just just (laughs) like the way she she just holds it down. You know? (laughs) I don't know what's going on right now. I feel like like you know, and and, 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 and the thing is, because I'm honoring you, I'm going to get you a man. Child, Mano, I appreciate yeah. that. That feels like a problem. You come to Chelsea house next week, and we're gonna line all Get, my guys. I don't up want a you. headache though. I don't want a headache. Oh, okay? you want a little bit of headache. It's gonna be like a Chelsea house bachelorette <laughs> <laughs> episode. Give me some like medium, <laughs> a medium headache. Okay. Well, thank you for that Women's History Month. Now, when we come back, you know it's also Wealth Wednesday, and Barry Coleman is gonna be joining us. He's the vice president for the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, and so shout out to him. It's also National Credit Education month here so we want to make sure that everybody gets together with their credit we all got good credit in here yes yes we do all right we love it it's way up with angela yee now I'm back, 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 now I'm back, you vibe the way up with angela yee yes it is way up with angela yee i'm angela yee jasmine from the jasmine brand is here happy thursday happy, happy hump day no what, what? Wednesday, sorry. Wednesday, yes. Happy uh, Wealth Wednesday. Happy Wealth Wednesday. Mano is here. Yes. Now, Mano. Yes. I love when you do your main ovations. Main ovations. Got to give them some inspiration out there. They need it. On Instagram. Yeah. And I want to talk about your main ovations a little bit and how you came up with that whole idea. Um, Shout out to my guy, Jamel Knight. He uh he he named it that. Main ovation. I would, I would be in my car and I, I would just start talking about random things that, that helped me. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, this past week I talked about, you know, not being not being comfortable and getting comfortable being uncomfortable Mm -hmm. in order to get to another level. You know, you got to sometimes lose your comfortability. You got to step into rooms where they don't all know your name. You got to step into rooms that they don't know know you for what you did. And you got to you got to learn how to, you know, adapt to not being as comfortable because. That's how you get to another level. Right. You know? Take a risk. That's right. Ooh. Yeah. yeah take a- <laughs> Jasmine's like, yeah, because you're trying to make me take a risk. Yeah, right yeah. Angela's making me take a risk. No. You're not making me, but, you know. No, no, but you should do that because it's, it's, I a, am it's an to. uncomfortableness, yeah. but th- that's the only way we get it. Yep. Okay. That's a great man ovation. Yeah. You know, they say um, with growth, you have to be uncomfortable because yes. right. you're growing out of what you're in. So sometimes when you get too comfortable, and I always say this too, when you get complacent and comfortable, that's not a good thing. That's not a good right. thing because yeah. that because you just only exist in where you where you, where you feel like uh, 
that's that's where your comfortability lies at. Even for me studying this show. That's going to be very uncomfortable. Look, I left Sirius to come to iHeart. Mm -hmm. People were like, why would you do that? You're doing so... Mm, you know, I'm comfortable. Right. right. You know, then I did The Breakfast Club for 13 years. Right. I was comfortable and everything was fine, but... I was like, let me try something new. Right. And it here takes, we are on way it, up with Angela right. Yee. And mm -hmm. people were like, oh my God, why would you do that? Right. Blah, blah, blah. People still say that. That's one of the reasons why your girl Dominique went fishback. Mm -hmm. She said that she check, she chose the role, the role with Swarm because she wanted to do something that was going to challenge her. Right, right. right. You got to challenge yourself because it takes guts and, and it takes courage to do something that you're not used to doing. Yeah. Right. But the and reward that's the is biggest bigger. reward. Yes, yeah, the exactly. Reward is bigger, though. All right. Well, thank you for that main ovation. Yeah. Maino, and it is also Wealth Wednesday, right? And we're talking about finances, and sometimes you have to be uncomfortable doing things. We're so used to saving our money, right. putting it away, getting ready for a rainy day. Yep. And sometimes living check to check, sometimes feeling like, well, I don't have money to invest because I'm still trying to take care of this. But you have to get out of that mindset. And Fix your credit, too, by the way. It That's is right. also National Credit Education Month. And we have Barry Coleman here joining us. He's the vice president for the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, the NFCC. And he'll be talking to us when we come back on Wealth Wednesday. Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. Let's just talk about the importance of credit in a person's life. Sometimes people feel like debt is not a good thing. And if I can't pay for it with cash, I shouldn't do it at all. You know, credit is an instrument that can help uh, consumers in their daily lives. We don't believe it should be utilized in every situation. But obviously, there, there are situations where credit can be important and it can be an end to a means. You know, most people can't pay for a home in, in cash, so <laughs> mortgage loans, <laughs> most people can. <laughs> mortgage loans are important. You know, cars can be very expensive, and so that's another area where, you know, credit is, is important because it, it helps someone to obtain that vehicle and such. Credit card debt oftentimes is where we see individuals run into to trouble. You know, it's very easy to, you know, reach into your wallet, pull out a credit card and pay for a purchase uh, with that, that credit card. And what we find is over time, as the interest accrue, accrues, it becomes sometimes more difficult for people to repay for those particular purchases. So individuals that consider using credit cards should think about the cost over the term of that particular purchase. You know, if you're buying something that's a thousand dollars and you pay for it with a credit card and you make the minimum payments, well, you're paying a lot more than a thousand dollars for that particular item. Mm -hmm. So they really need to step back and, and think about, okay, is this really worth this thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars that this item may eventually uh, cost me because I put it on a credit card? We know people, particularly in our community, they're sometimes using credit cards just to make ends meet. I think yes. according to the Federal Reserve, more than half of black and Hispanic Americans have poor or no credit. And when it comes to consumer credit, like credit cards, that makes up over 44% of all debt for black consumers. So where does the person who's sitting on five figures in credit card debt, but they're only earning fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, where do they begin? I think they begin by uh, developing a plan. And certainly, you know, speaking to a nonprofit credit counselor could be a good place to start. Uh, as Angela mentioned, you know, our agencies provide credit counseling sessions typically free of charge. And we sit down with consumers to help them to develop a plan of action to address their financial situation and come away with uh, education that will help them to, to spend uh, more wisely and to use credit more wise. All right, again, it is National Credit Education Month and Barry Coleman, the Vice President for the National Foundation for Credit Counseling is here. Can we talk about these higher interest rates too since we're talking about getting our debt under control? We've been hearing a lot about that with what's happened with Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank, and how does these higher interest rates affect the average person? Yeah, they certainly have, a, have an impact on the average person, especially if someone has credit card debt and they're carrying balances um, every month. So just to put this into context, the average interest rates on credit card debt have soared to nearly 20% from just over 16% at Jeez. the beginning of, of last year. Wow. And that's the largest one year increase that's a lot. In, 
four decades since th those rates have been tracked. Now, this partially influenced by the Federal Reserve's increase in interest rate over the past year or so, and that was designed to help put inflation into check. We all are familiar with rising costs of, of everyday things. And so the Federal Reserve has one strategy when it comes to uh, <laughs> reducing inflation, and that's increasing interest rates to sort of slow down spending. In addition to that, all of the you know scrutiny banks are coming under now right now because of Silicon Valley, they're going to be tougher on people. Mm -hmm. when it comes to giving out loans and credit. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you today because it's really more important now than it has been in a while that you have your credit situation straight. Yes, yes. That is certainly causing uh, credit issuers to you know, look at their operations, look at their lending criteria, and to determine whether or not they are open to adverse risk. And that's why it's to your point, utterly important that consumers make sure that their credit profiles are appealing to lenders. Tell our audience how important on-time bill payment is to their overall credit. Yeah, so on-time bill payment is the number one factor that is used to determine one's credit score. It amounts for 35% of the overall credit score. And I won't lie, I was just showing Stacey my credit score. And my credit score Impressive. just jumped incredibly just because one of my old, like I didn't pay a bill on time and it was like five years ago. And it was just really a few days late, but it sure. really affected my credit score. So now my credit score jumped up over 30 points. That's yeah, the kind so of stuff you help people do, right? When someone comes for these one-on-one -on -one credit counseling sessions. Yeah, that's one of the things that, that we help, you know, by first of all, providing that education so folks know what impacts the, the credit score and you know stressing the on-time payments and mm -hmm. there are some situations where individuals will, will come to us and they're burdened with credit card debt and they're having problems making those minimum monthly payments and we have a tool called a, a debt management plan which is a structured repayment plan where the consumer would make uh, one monthly payment to us and then we would disperse those payments to the creditors, those creditors have um, offered reduced uh, monthly payments and interest rates to make the repayment more affordable. But what happens when that consumer pay makes their payment through us, we send those payments to the creditors on a monthly basis. They're establishing that uh, on-time you know, payment history and over time, that's going to, to help greatly in improving that overall overall credit score. And checking, doing things like helping people check for errors on their credit reports. Make sure that, you get your credit report and know your credit score and all of those things. Yeah, so, you know, consumers have, have available the opportunity to get one free credit report from each of the three major credit reporting agents, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax on an annual basis so that they can review that credit report, you know, look for errors, uh, dispute things that, that are incorrect. Now, I will, I will say the annual credit report that's free does not include the credit score. So oftentimes those credit bureaus will offer the credit score as an add on to that, that free credit report. But it's usually a nominal fee. And the, the important thing to note though, is that the credit score is created from whatever appears on that credit report. Mm -hmm. So it's important that that credit report is accurate. It's important that consumers work to improve anything that may be detrimental on that credit report because that's going to have a direct correlation to the, the credit score. All right, we are taking your questions. It is National Credit Education Month. Let us know what you want to know about fixing your credit, credit counseling. We have Barry Coleman from the NFCC, National Foundation for Credit Counseling, in the building. It is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. It's Wealth Wednesday. Y'all know I love talking about money and getting to that money. And we have Barry Coleman, the Vice President for the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, here with us for Wealth Wednesday alongside my girl, Stacey Tisdale. We do have some questions. Yes. From yeah. our listeners mm -hmm. that we want to make sure we get to because I know, first of all, thank you 
you, uh, Mr. Coleman, for joining us today. But our listeners are really excited. They have some great questions. Yep. Wonderful. Okay. And um, just before we jump into that, I wanted to say that with this partnership, when you sign up for GetStellarFi.com, before you even pick a plan, you get a credit. We give you a free credit report and you get a free one-on-one -on -one credit counseling session. That was very important to Angela and I. So you can go to GetStellarFi.com to sign up for that. And until Friday at midnight, if you use the code WAYUP, mm -hmm. you will get a $5 credit for signing up for one of the plans after you link the first bill. So this is just till Friday at midnight, and you can go to GetStellarFi.com. A and free one-on-one -on -one counseling session with the NFCC, and your credit score will go way up. Yep, <laughs> and that's um, one of the you know reasons that we really wanted to partner with you all. Our first question is from John Brown. And he wants to know, how badly does being one day late on a credit card payment affect my credit score? It could adversely affect the credit score. Typically... One day? One day. One day it, it could. Um, it all depends on the credit issuer and how they mm -hmm. report that late payment to the credit bureau. Some of them will, will give you a little, little leeway. And if, you know, if, you, if you're more than 30 days late then that's when they start reporting. But one day late could actually, theoretically, affect someone's uh, credit score in a negative way. If they want to be a jerk. And then they should yeah. call yeah. you like, a, they'll call you like a thousand times. I'm not going to lie, I'm still bitter about this one because mine, mine was like a week late. I really just forgot. And I don't know, like, I don't it think happens. you can, yeah. I just forgot. I think I didn't get the email because I do everything online and I didn't sure. get the email and then it was on my credit score for so long. Those negative actions on, on a credit report can stay on the credit report for up to seven years. Now, they impact the score lesser over time. So if you had a late payment reported, say, last month, and another late payment that was reported, say, two years ago, the one that occurred last month will have more of a negative impact than the one that happened two years ago. So over time, it, it factors in, in less. See, if you would have had a free one-on-one -on -one yes, credit counseling session, they would have done that for you. And I didn't know because I wasn't even checking my credit report, which is why I'm glad I do now. I make sure I check it every single month just to see what's she was on just it. Just checking it. I'm mm -hmm. not kidding. I did. It's, a, it's a very <laughs> important to, to do. I mean, think about all of the the situations of fraud that occur. So many uh, nowadays. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's happened to me, and you know, the fact that I was able to catch it early, you know, I was able to actually do something about it. See, it so could happen to him. Point. Yes. Vice President of the yes. NFCC, it could happen it to does. you also. Okay. You got some more questions? All right. Here's another question from Carly. How do you build credit with no credit history? Yeah, you have to establish credit history over, over time. And, you know, that may be finding a credit issuer that's willing to, you know, give you credit. Sometimes, you know, store credit cards are somewhat easy, easier to get. Um, there are secured credit cards where you put a deposit down with the bank and they issue you a credit card based on the amount of your deposit. And as you make your payments, that's how you build your credit history. So there are way, ways to do it. And certainly, you know, you mentioned the, the, the Stellify uh, product. The Stellify product will look at some of the less traditional types of bills and report those to the credit bureau so that's another way mm -hmm. that like you can Netflix can, and right. yes, child absolutely. support gym membership yeah yes. the whole yes. point of Stellar Fi was it seemed like a paradox that you had to have credit to build credit the founder he wanted to find a way that people could get credit by using bills they already have so everybody really check that out at GetStellarFi.com. And oh, you know what? Along with that one, establishing credit, what if, like, say I have a credit card and I add somebody to my credit card, will they then get my credit history? If you add someone to a credit account as an authorized user, they could gain the benefits of your positive credit history. So, yeah, that, that can help. Okay. Watch that with your boyfriends and your girls. Yes. Be cautious. <laughs> Be cautious about that. Yeah. But that's good for parents, I think, with their kids, yes. too. Like, mm -hmm. if you want to help your, your child improve their credit score and you trust them <laughs> and you yes. have a plan, then that could be something that really does work. 
Absolutely. Sure. All right. Well, thank you again, Barry Coleman, for joining us, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. He is the vice president. Hopefully, we answered all your questions. If you have more, you can always go and get them, get some free help. And shout out to my girl, Stacey Tisdale. She always comes through for Wealth Wednesday. When we come back, we have Ask Yee. That's 800-292-5150. Any question you have, we are here to help. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I go. Hey, everybody. Yikes. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should, so you should no. This is SD. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here, and Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. Yes. You put your hood up? I okay, did. Okay, we see you. <laughs> <laughs> and Mano is here. You know I'm here. <laughs> you know he's here. And it's time for Ask Yee. And I think all three of us are good at giving advice. Right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this advice is different. Yeah. It's from, <laughs> no. But it's from a good point of view. Angela, Angela's advice is is really good. Mano's is has good advice from a man's perspective. I don't always agree with it. You don't. Mano has like harsh you, advice. You could have fooled me. Listen. I thought you was taking all my advice. You should hear some of the things Mano says to me. He's very, he's very he's direct blunt. and yeah. aggressive. Yeah. It's like sheesh. Okay. Woo. So <laughs> again, you can always call eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. We even take Asky on the voicemail, mm. and we listen to all your voicemail. Well, we do. We don't. Dan does, but. Um, um, somebody listens to them yes. and then they'll make it on the air for last words or perhaps you know it can make it on Ask Ye and we have one today for Ask Ye I do have an ex that I have been dealing with and crazy thing is he's been coming back to me but the girl that he's been dealing with she keeps confronting me and not confronting him and she's calling me all type of B words and all this stuff like that but she's not confronting him Am I doing something wrong? Like, I mean, sometimes I entertain him coming back to me, but sometimes I don't because one time I did entertain him coming back to me and I got my opportunity for a new job snatched away from me, Mm -mm. so I had to cut him loose. So should I keep him around or what? It's a hard no. <laughs> not if he got you losing jobs. Easy advice, no. You want my advice? Yeah. Yes, Mayna. Let's hear you. My yours. advice is that she call all the girl and say to her plainly, listen, I'm going to keep de- dealing with him. You're going to probably keep dealing with him. Let's just deal with him together. No, this Mayna. Is the, this is the kind of this advice, advice we right. don't take. Well, now, you want to hear my advice, Mayna? Yes, Angela. What's your advice, my Angela? My advice is this. Why make your life more complicated than it has to be? Mm-hmm. The only person that's benefiting in this situation for real is him, yep. right? He's got this one girl going crazy. He clearly loves drama. He does. If he cared about you, he wouldn't even put you in that position. You lost a job opportunity because of this mm-hmm. person. Mm-hmm. He don't care about you. It's a no he don't care about your well-being. He got this girl coming over to fight. You know how disrespectful that is? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you're the side piece. How did you end up being the side piece to somebody you was dealing with before that? That's already enough right there for you to be like, I'm not doing this. So instead of wondering why is she mad at me and not mad at him, how about you just kindly remove yourself from the drama? Mm -hmm. That way no one's showing up to your house, no one's trying to fight you, no one's forcing you to lose a job, and you don't have to worry about STDs. Mm. I, I love that's great advice. You should put all that on a t-shirt. Angela. I don't think she going to follow it though cuz that's the reason why she called up here now. <laughs> yeah. Cuz she already knew all that. <laughs> And, you know, right. Mano's sometimes right. people do just want to hear that and hopefully and sometimes it takes a minute to break things off yeah for whatever reason we do things in our own time but I'm here to tell you this is not going to end well at all okay? the, gr- the girlfriend has misdire- misdirected anger too and the other thing is let that be her problem mm-hmm. we already you know how many other girls he's probably doing the same thing with too by the way I you're know. not the only girl he's messing with behind her back <laughs> and Mano Mano what's funny because this is true you're not the only girl it's he's true messing. Mano have you yeah. ever cheated on a girl with only one other person and she been the only side piece no, no it's usually multiple right. yeah yeah that's what angela's saying exactly all right so that is asky again y'all can always leave a message we will answer those calls we will answer your voicemails 800-292-5150 and when we come back we have last word that is your voicemails it's way up with angela yee pick up the phone tap in tap in and get your voice heard what the word is here's the last word on way up with angela yee What's up? It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano is here. Yes, Mano Vation. Ain't no vation. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. <laughs> it's so jarring. <laughs> it is jarring. It's your voice. <laughs> she start dancing every time. She start. She do the little bop like I'm yeah. like. I feel like this this song right here goes really great with Mano's sweater. It, really? Somebody just said Mano's sweater looks like a... Like I just killed a Muppet. Like you killed a Muppet. 
It's that Mar- it's that Marnie flow though. And, and then what what, Mano, did Mano what did Mano say in response? He very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thank y'all for joining us. We had an amazing show today. You know, we did Wealth Wednesday today. We talked about uh, fixing your credit with Barry Coleman, the vice president of the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. Yes. And I saw a lot of people were really excited about that. Information I wish I would have been had. That's I, right. I wish I had that as a like high schooler, you know. Yeah. But we got it now. Yep. Also, um, you know, I want to thank everybody who trusts us enough to call in and know that we won't pass judgment. Yeah. You know, we have an amazing Tell Us a Secret that was just posted. Oh, my goodness. On the Way Up With You. And make sure you follow the page at Way Up With Ye mm-hmm. on Instagram, on Twitter. You know, we're just having a good time. That's right. With no judgment. With no judgment. Well, judgment from Mano. And then Mano always has the same <laughs> advice, too. Yeah. It's, it, it, it varies. Yeah. No, yeah. It, no, it does it, not it, vary. It varies slightly. It varies slightly. <laughs> Big love, though. You my advice? Uh, tell the other girl, come on, and you guys go, and, and all three of you get together. I love, Man- I love the Mano voice. You like my Mano voice? Yes. <laughs> Say something else, Ange. It's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how Mano sounds. Yeah, it's nuts. It's not BRF. I could do this. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love but it. But again, 800-292-5150 is the number. You can use that number for Ask Ye. You can use that number to shine a light in case you can't get through. You can use that number to weigh in on some topics that we discussed during the show. Or if you just want to say, hey, y'all. How you doing? Hey, fam. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, let's hear what you guys have to say for the last words. It's Way Up with Angela Ye. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. First of all, hey, Angela Z, how are y'all doing up there? My name is Omar Scott from uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I just want to shine a light on my wife, Andrea, man. Uh, seeing her grow, seeing her heal, it has helped me in so much because we were in a dark place to where we all most separated from each other. And then she took her personal health and her personal, men- her personal mental health serious, and seeing her grow and seeing her blossom made me want to do the same. And now we're both better individually and collectively. So I want to say thank you, boo, for allowing me to watch you grow and heal and inspire me. And we're going to grow it and go together. Hey, Angela. My little secret is that I've been with my boyfriend for about four years now. And I had a brother and his child. And I did it because I knew that Mentally, physically, and financially, he was not ready for it. I already have a kid outside of him. But, yeah, I held that secret. It's been about two years now. Everyone thinks I, you know, I had a mentally nurse child. That's my secret. What's going on with Angela Yee? I got to tell you a little secret, man. I lost my opportunity to my stepsister. Yes, I said it. My stepsister. And we still haven't said My lord. 